If you've ever had a fruit fly or a fungus gnat infestation in your house, then you know how annoying they can get. They fly up in your face, in your nostrils, get in your food and drinks, and a lot of times it just won't leave you or your food alone. Ew! Ew! F off! But I don't know if I can eat that. I swear these bugs annoy you on purpose. See how this one taunts me as I try to squish him? Watch. She goes and hides underneath. Sneaky. If you are fed up with these pests too, then watch on because you don't use the same strategy for both. I'm going to show you how to get rid of fungus gnats and fruit flies next. Fracking Creations, a YouTube variety channel that touches different parts of your life. Want more videos on DIY? Subscribe to the channel or check out our website. Which pest do you have a problem with? It's important to determine because the method used will be different. The easy way to tell is that fruit flies have a tan or reddish color and look like tiny house flies. The fungus gnat, on the other hand, are typically black, smaller, and don't look like house flies. Once you have identified which you have, here is what you use for each type of pest. Fruit flies are attracted to ripening or fermenting foods like fruits and vegetables. So the way to get rid of them is to make a trap that uses apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, or red wine. Simply get a clear jar, glass, or bowl and pour some apple cider vinegar in. Fill the container about half full. This is the bait. Then put a few drops of dish soap in and stir to mix. The soap lowers the liquid's surface tension, making it harder for the flies to float on top. They will more likely sink when they land on the liquid, like these black pepper flakes. Cover with saran wrap, then poke several small holes at the top. Only poke holes slightly larger than the flies. The flies are then attracted to the smell coming from the jar and go in through the holes, then either get stuck in the liquid or can't escape the jar because they aren't smart enough to go back where they entered. We use a clear jar because the flies try to escape through the clear glass, but can't. This also takes their attention away from the saran wrap, therefore less chance of escaping by luck. Enjoying this video so far? Hit the like button so YouTube will promote it more. Thanks for your support! The solution used for the fruit flies doesn't seem to work on the fungus gnats, so a different strategy is required. Fungus gnats are attracted to plants, soil, potting mix, organic decomposition, light, and excess moisture. You can use fly traps like these and set them in the soil of all your potted plants. They are quite effective, as you can see. You can also use traps like these where there is a UV light and a grid that electrocutes the gnats when they touch it. The gnats don't seem to be very intelligent when it comes to water. We see a lot of them drown themselves in pots, bowls, and cups of liquid, and that's why we tried our own little experiment. It seems to work too, so if you don't have any of the stickies or UV traps, then try this. We use a small lid from a container and add a few drops of dish soap and mix with water. You only need it to be about half full. Use more soap if you like. Remember from before about reducing the water's surface tension? I've seen some flies land in my drinks before, not get stuck, and then fly off, so the soap should help trap them in the liquid. We've tried different color lids like white, yellow, and transparent. Since these gnats seem to like the fluorescent yellow of the stickies, we tried yellow thinking it would be best. That's not the case as it seems that the clear one works best so far. They also seem to like our silver pot, so you can try silver too. So far, I've showed you the traps used to catch these pests, but know that they won't entirely solve your problem. The traps only deal with the symptom, but not with the problem. You will have to eliminate the source of the problem, which is where they are breeding and feeding. Here are some quick tips on this. Make sure to keep the house clean. Empty the trash and recycling bins regularly. Don't leave food out and uncovered. These pests can even get into food containers that are not airtight. Oh, that's pretty nasty. Look at those things. Look at them. Look at those little creepy crawlers in there. Also, don't leave fruits or vegetables out, especially when they are ripe, rotting, or have cuts or damage to the skin. Keep sinks and drains clean. Keep mops and cleaning cloths clean and dry. Regularly wipe counter and tabletops clean of spills. Have window and door screen mesh for when you have them open to the outside. If you have indoor plants, fungus gnats live in the soil of potted plants and flowers. Not overwatering indoor plants, providing good drainage, and getting rid of infested plants will help. There you go! Effective ways to get rid of fungus gnats and fruit flies in your house. Hope this helps you! If you found it useful, please share it on your social media and subscribe for more great content to come. For links to some of our source information, check out our video description below.